Hello everyone, thanks for checking out Raging Book Reviews. My name is Teresa and I'm here today with a book review on The Passenger by Lisa Lutz. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this. Uh, first, let me just say I want to thank you guys for all the support on the blog and on Instagram and all social media. Um, if you are on social media, you can find me under author T.R. Horn. Uh, and you can see all the books that I'm reading, what I'm currently reading. I'm on Goodreads, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Um, probably not the crazy stuff though. I don't think I'm on Snapchat yet, but probably soon. So if you're looking for me on anything, Author TR Horn is the place to be. I share kind of like fashion and food and books and kind of all the stuff that I love, which is eating, reading, and dressing up. So... Um, I want to get into this review for this book that I finished on my reading list. You can see the written review um, on the book review blog, which is Raging Book Reviews, and that's at WordPress. So ragingbookreviews.wordpress.com. So let's jump right in. So The Passenger is a really cool book. Um, I kind of was let down in the end. I don't want to say that it was you know, a bad book because I finished it. It was fine. You know, it kept me reading. It wasn't bad in the sense that I just hated the story. I think the ending kind of just was a huge letdown for me. Um, and a, a little bit in the story I kind of didn't like, but I'll tell you about that. So it follows the story of a girl who is married to a man who has just fallen down the stairs and uh, died. Unfortunately, she cannot call the police because she is not who she says she is. She has been hiding from her own past and therefore fearing that if the police come, they're going to think that it's her who killed the husband. So she flees and she runs to this new place and takes a new identity. She calls a guy who um, is from her past to give her like a passport and new identity and everything else. And when he does this, and she's at this new place, he sends some folks to kill her. Really strange, right? As you're reading it, you're like, well, why would she ask for help from something that's trying to kill her? Um, but you realize that as the story goes on, kind of how her story from the past is affecting how everything's happening in the future. Um, needless to say, through this whole journey, she's stopping in all these little small towns, She's kind of uh, pickpocketing different women and taking their identities along the way and their money and credit cards and everything else to kind of help her keep running. Um, all the while, you don't know who she's running from. You're seeing these um, email messages back and forth with someone from her past that she clearly has feelings for, but you don't know why she's running. They never really talk about it in the email. They just basically tell her never to come back and you know keep running, we shouldn't be talking that kind of thing. Um, so you never really know until you get to the very end of the book what the deal is with her. And because you've waited so long, it's kind of like a letdown when you get the full story because it's not as big or as grandiose as you would probably want it to be after 300 pages. But um, so I like the book. The story was really cool. Um, there's a character in here named Blue who I absolutely loved. Okay, I wish she was in the whole book. So you'll you'll find her to be like a reprieve, you know, from the other main character. Um, but there are some things that aren't tied up in the end and, you know, kind of left hanging and loosey-goosey. So 